Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and today I have good news for you finally WhatsApp for Wear OS is available for download so you can start your conversations directly from the watch instead of only replying to notifications and here I have it installed on my Pixel watch to show you how it works. So I already installed the app let's tap on the open button and see what's gonna happen here and I have my phone as you see in the background and the first thing you will notice here is a screen that will pop up automatically on your phone screen asking you to confirm your connection with the device so I'm gonna tap on confirm and then it's now asking me to authenticate using my fingerprint but it seems like it's failing here on the watch so let's give it another try so as you see it gave me a code here on the watch to put it manually on the phone and now I'm done with the pairing process but still giving me some errors it says here something went wrong so I'm gonna wait for it and see what's gonna happen so it's taking longer than expected I think I will quit the pairing process and give it another try so the good news is we have WhatsApp on the Wear OS but the bad news it doesn't work six months later so after trying many times it finally connected to my phone and here's the screen I'm getting it's listed under the link devices page it says here Wear OS and the watch is loading the chats as you see here so I'm gonna give it some time and get back to you with the results so it took about a couple of minutes to load all the messages and here's how it looks all my conversations are showing here and this is how the unread messages look like with a green dot next to them so let's go inside and I'm getting all the messages showing over here so let's try to send something you will first get the smart replies of Wear OS so you can quickly reply back to the message or choose one of the available options here like the keyboard emoji keyboard and so on and so forth and it will show you the blue text once the message is read and if you want to react to a certain message you can do this as well by tapping and holding on the bubble and it will give you six different reactions to choose from so I'm going to choose this one and if you want to remove the reaction you can do the same steps one more time and it seems like those six predefined reactions don't change even when you change the content of the message so here I sent myself a couple more messages to see if there is any difference but they are the same six uh, reactions I'm always getting and there is no way to add a different one but if I reacted on my phone with a different emoji it will show up when I tap and hold on the bubble you will see here it's the seventh emoji and it will allow me to remove it but I still not able to reuse it if I want it will disappear as shown here there are also a couple of features missing here like the inability to reply back to messages you can only react to them as I showed you earlier and also there is no way to delete messages from the watch so you need to be careful before sending them uh, and when I delete a message from my phone it will show me that I deleted one but it will not allow me to do it here on the watch but you still can see the reply if you did it on your phone and here is how it looks but the most exciting feature in this app is the ability to reply back with voice messages and also listen to them on the watch which is very convenient for such a small device instead of using the keyboard so let me show you a quick demo when you scroll all the way down in the conversation you will see a microphone icon which will allow you to record a message so this is a test message and you had the text sign it recorded the message you can listen to it and here you have the volume controls you can also choose a device if you want to pair your watch to a bluetooth headphones on top of this you can delete or confirm that this is the message you want to send so I'm gonna confirm send the message and here you see it in the conversation and when you play it you can actually adjust the playback speed you have here this fast forward button tapping on it will give you the chance to choose three different speeds but it seems like the voice messages feature is not working properly because I got a red eye next to the first audio message I sent and when I tap on this eye it says message failed couldn't send this message because of an error and I have a continue button tapping on it doesn't do anything it doesn't allow me to resend it so I tried again 
and still not able to send the message. I also opened the conversation on my phone and I don't see those messages in the chat. So I hope WhatsApp will fix this issue in the future. But for now, let's continue scrolling to see what else we have here. I have the option to view the contact information or open the conversation on the phone right away from the watch. And that's a quick shortcut for me. And instead of unlocking and going to WhatsApp and then open the conversation, I can do it with one tap from here. And when you view the contact information and then scroll down, you have the ability to mute the chat if you want. So you can turn on the switch and it will mute it. And I think that's pretty much it when it comes to handling the chats. And when you scroll all the way down, it will show you just part of your conversations. And if you want to load more, you have here a button to do so. And then when you go to settings, it will give you the option to log out if you want. And then you have security notifications. So you can choose if you want to turn the security notifications on or off. Last but not least, WhatsApp on Wear OS will give you two tiles to add to your carousel. And here I have them. The first one is called the chats, which will show you the most recent five conversations. And when you tap on any, it will take you to this one right away. And also you can tap on chats, which will open the app for you. And then you have another one called voice message. And from here, you can record the voice message immediately instead of opening the conversation and then tapping on the microphone, but tapping here on the contact, it will start recording right away. And then you tap the tick sign and send it. So I think that's pretty much it when it comes to WhatsApp on Wear OS, but just a quick update before ending the video. After force quitting WhatsApp from the recent screen and then going again to WhatsApp, I was able to successfully send audio messages and here's a three seconds audio message that was sent successfully, but the app didn't try to resend the previous ones. They are completely stuck. So you might need to redo the audio message one more time if it got stuck because there is no option to try again. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So please let me know in the comments what do you think about WhatsApp on Wear OS. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you the next video.